On Tuesday mornings, we do a segment called Our Neighbors and Business. It's made possible by our friends at North Star Bank. And Don Farm is literally in the business of saving people's lives. They're a Michigan-based addiction treatment center with an emphasis on the recovering community. They do such astounding work. And I'm really pleased to have with us from Don Farm this morning their project manager and development director, Liz Davila Farrell and Olivia Vigiletti. Liz and Olivia, good morning. How are you both doing today? Good. How are you? I'm, having us on the air. Oh, you know, it's my pleasure. It's been a while since I've, I've had Don Farm on 1071, so it's about time we catch up to things and catch up to this big event that's coming up in just a few weeks. Tell us more about Don Farm and, and its history and its mission, Liz, if you would. Sure. Well, for those of you that don't know, Don Farm was founded in 1973, and we're a nonprofit substance abuse treatment center with a location in Ypsilanti and several locations in Ann Arbor. Um, And our mission has pretty much stayed the same since 1973, assisting addicts and alcoholics in achieving long-term recovery and also helping them identify and remove those barriers that are keeping them from joining the recovering community. Where are your facilities of who people may not be familiar? A lot of people are a pretty familiar one, which I drive by on the way to the Big Humane Society of Huron Valley, uh, their big fundraiser of the year, Walk and Wang. Uh, Sure. We have uh, two long-term residential treatment sites. So one is... Um, on Stony Creek Road in Ypsilanti, and that's our largest residential treatment center. And which is literally a farm. It is literally a farm <laughs> yeah. with, uh, uh-huh. with yep. chickens and eggs. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we have our smaller long-term residential treatment site um, in downtown. And um, we also have a detox center uh, not too far from the Delanis Center in Ann Arbor, which also houses our outreach center. Uh, we have outpatient services for adults and youth and family. Uh, We also do some services in the correction facilities. Um, We also have transitional housing spread around throughout Ann Arbor, both houses and apartments. What's the success rate? Do you you have figures on on this list, Liz, at at Dawn Farm? And what do you do that that makes uh, the treatment at Dawn Farm so successful as opposed to other places? Um, I think one of the things that we do that's central um, to keeping people in recovery and having people be successful is linking them with the recovering community. The recovering community is central to who Don Farm is. Um, even in our long-term residential sites, we have a uh, part of our program is having people who uh, graduated from our program, so to speak, come back and pick up residents, take them out to AA meetings, take them out to NA meeting, meetings, um, and support them so that they can have this uh, supportive community, not only while they're in treatment, but when they leave treatment. Olivia, talk about the event that's happening, the 43rd Annual Jamboree. What's this all about? Yes, our 43rd Anniversary Jamboree is coming up on Sunday, September 11th from 1 to 6 p.m. So a week from this Sunday. Okay. Yes, a all week right. from this Sunday, and it's going to be at the farm on Stony Creek Road. And, you know, we've held a celebration every year of our um, since our first year in 1973, and we used to call it our Founders Day event. Okay. And we switched to calling it the Jamboree because it kind of more reflects what we want the event to be, which is a celebration of recovery and the recovering community in the area. We like to say at Don Farm that recovery is everywhere because, especially in the Ann Arbor area, Anytime you leave your house, you're more than likely engaging with someone who's in recovery and you just don't realize it. So this is a chance to really bring out kind of how vibrant the community is around here and celebrate that. Tell us more. How do people get tickets? It's open to the public, I take it. This is, this is an important event for you in yeah. terms of fundraising. Yep. So the event is totally free. You can attend and not spend a dollar and ah. we would love it. Or you could attend and spend lots of money at our live and silent auctions and we would also love that. Um There's going to be a live auction, a silent auction. Um, There's going to be lots of food vendors with great food for sale. But some of the free activities really revolve around kids. Um, It includes hay rides, uh, petting zoos, hula hooping, face painting, pony rides. There's going to be a live band, uh, Corn Daddy, the local local band here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh Yeah. Um, So it's going to be super fun. And the hours, when when does it take place exactly on Sunday, September 11th? Yep, from 1 p.m. till 6 p.m., the live auction is going to start at 2.45, so if you can only come for a piece of it, that would be a super exciting time to be there. How do people get info and more details, Olivia? So um, they can call us um, at 734-485-8725 or visit our website or our Facebook. Our Facebook has an event page that's been being updated really regularly. You can also get a link to a catalog of our auction items if you want to kind of pre-consider what you're interested in oh, bidding on. Oh, good deal. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
And Liz, before we run here, uh, there there are many people who may be in need. I know there is often a, a waiting list at Dawn Farm. Of there are listeners right now who are struggling with alcohol or struggling struggling with drugs and really need to reach out to you for help. Same way, go to the website. Is there any other info you can uh, give they us? They can go to our website www.dawnfarm.org. They can also feel free to call us at seven three four four eight five. 8725, and we can put them in touch with our intake team. All right. And do remember the 43rd annual Jamboree, the big celebration at Dawn Farm a week from Sunday, September the 11th. Our Neighbors in Business brought to you by North Star Bank, Liz Davila, Farrell, and Olivia Vigiletti from Dawn Farm. Really appreciate you stopping by today, both of you. Good to see you. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much. Keep up that great work at Dawn Farm. We've got the Young Wild. We've got Fastball on the way on 1071.